What's going on everybody, I'm DJ Sean from Charlotte Star 6 and in today's video we're going over the King of Silence himself, Mute. So in today's video I'm going to be detailing his loadout, I'm going to be going over Mute's role, using him as a roamer versus using him as an anchor, the difference between using him for a denying intel versus denying car breach, and if you stick around to the end of the video I'm going to be also offering in-game examples of me playing Mute in the ranked game, you know my motto, I can't just talk about it, I gotta be about it too. So if you stick around to the end, you won't want to miss that. But now it's time for the question of the day. So today's question of the day is what aim traders do you guys use if you use any to get better at shooting at siege? Do you play a lot of T hunt? Do you use aim labs? What are things you guys do to generally improve at the game? Mine is trying to play the game a little bit more with a little bit of T hunt mixed in. I kind of just go in like, you know, cold. I don't really do T hunt for real. I just go in and it's just, I warm up in the ranked games. That might be bad to do. Well, I know that's bad to do, but I got out of the habit of like, playing t-hunt because you know people in actual ranked games don't play like the bots do in t-hunt so i guess you could use it like pre-firing or something like that but for the most part i just get the mentality and the experience just going in cold and just warming up in rank so but that's just my opinion let me know what you guys do in the comments down below but that's enough of me rambling for the intro let's go ahead and get straight into the guy it's loadout time baby yeah all right so a little bit about his loadout now there's two different loadouts you can pretty much run which I'm going to go into detail with later. But for my primary one that I tend to use would be the MP5K. You know, I love the 1.5 scopes, so I run a 1.5 on this gun as well. Flash hiders are the king in Siege pretty much. So that's what I use on pretty much every gun I run in Siege. It's only right that I run the Icy Cat Charm with the black eyes. You know, it just looks too clean. So that's pretty much what I run on the primary. Now, you can use a shotgun loadout too, but I'm going to go into that a little bit later on in the video. I don't use the pistol at all. You can't go wrong with using the SFG 11 here. So I have a holographic on it. Flash out the King of Siege, as I said. Got a vertical grip on there because, you know, I can't really control that recoil. It wouldn't make sense to have this as an angle grip at all. So the vertical grip is pretty much the only one that you have on this gun, too. So that's what I run for his secondary, the SFG 11. Now for his gadgets, he has a C4 and a bulletproof camera. Now, 9 times out of 10, you're going to see me with the C4 because plant denial and all that pretty much when they go for a plant i need to go ahead and try to stop that so that's why i run the nitro but you can use a bulletproof camera it now has an emp on it too since they buffed it so if there's like a nomad air jab or anything like that you can just shoot the emp charge at it and it'll deactivate it for a certain amount of time so depending on what you want to run like pretty much all the gadgets are in siege it depends on what situation you're in and what would do best for that situation so but for the most part Hands down loadout you'll see me with is the MP5K, SVG11, and the Nitro Cell. So that's pretty much what I run on his loadout. Now we're going to get into what his role is when you're playing him in Rainbow Six Siege. So Mute is a denier operator, I like to call him. And this means he denies intel and he also has the ability to deny breach as well. I spoke a little bit about this in his loadout, but let's touch on your role with two varying loadouts specifically. The first one is running the shotgun and the SMG. Now for this role, if you're using this loadout, I tend to use Mute more as an anchor. Shotgunning out default spots that are behind counters or anything like that. For example, the bar and cafe can be shotgunned out. A lot of people when they're attacking like to plant behind the cocktail. So you take, you have Mute or a smoke or anybody with a shotgun, just shotgun that whole bar out and then there's nowhere for them to plant and just be safe. So just to name two of those spots, using a shotgun and staying on site will be pretty much your role when you're using that loadout. Now the SMG is hard to control for some people. It's hard to control for me still, but roaming with the shotgun and the SMG doesn't really seem too viable for me. But if you have that loadout on site and you have people pushing them and having your mute jammers around areas close to site, like again, using cafe, for example, like the red stairs door and the top of white stairs, and at least one in piano, you know, using those jammers and that loadout and you playing close to site, if not actually on the site, would not be a bad idea at all. So if running the shotgun, I think that's the best play. And you also have the C4 handy for plant denial. So be sure to be smart with that too. The other option is using mute as a roamer, which is possible as well. His fully auto primary is a decent gun. So if you place your jammers in sight to aid the team and maybe take one with you to put in like a high traffic area that the attackers will be taking. For example, let's use cafe again. If the defenders go basement, nine times out of 10, the attackers are gonna try pushing bakery, which is big bakery in the front, and they're gonna push upstairs mining and train rooms, and those are on the second floor. 
So if your team decides to hold bakery with Jaeger ADSs, maybe a castle setup too, you can aid them by placing a couple of mute jammers in bakery so people can't really drone in there and see how it's being held. And then you take at least one with you and roam the mining and train area. So they when they try to drone those as well, you might catch a couple of drones like that. So basically roaming that area and denying intel so that they can't just go ahead and take that for free. I always say Siege is a time-based game, so the more you eat at the clock, the more likely you are to win around on defense and mute is pretty much a great aid for that intel gathering is so important in siege if you take away that by limiting the attackers drone uses it forces them to face check areas since they can't drone it or they're going to be forced to push another way it's like you're taking away the attacker's eyes pretty much like if you ever watch the show where like there's a person in like the truck while the other people go in and they're like yo I can see heat signatures here, here, and here. You're taking away the eyes of Overwatch, basically by playing mute. They won't be able to see any type of setup that lies in front of them because they can't drone it. Now, if they shoot the mute jammer or if a twitch jammer gets it, then they can drone right past it. But you might want to set the drones up so they can't be shot like that and keep them skeptical of just pushing into those areas or knowing what's in front of them. More people should just run mute just for the reasons that he can anchor, he can roam, he can deny intel, and he can also deny breach. Speaking of intel denial and hard breach denial, we're going to compare those next. So now we're going to speak a little bit about denying intel versus denying the breach. Now the first uses of mute I want to go over is intel denial. I spoke a little bit about it in the example before this, but now I'm going to go a little bit into detail. The intel denial I'm talking about is more so for twist drones, zero cameras, doka be calls, just to name a few uses that you could deny uses of besides the, just the regular drones themselves. Muting drone holes are areas that twist drones can get through to take out defender utilities such as mirror, bandit batteries, electro claws, things like that, is more useful than mute actually denying the wall itself. And let me explain why. Mute really isn't as strong as he was before the shape of his jammer AOE was changed. It used to be a little higher. Like he used to be able to deny the whole wall with his jammer or two jammers for that matter but now the shape of the jammer aoe just gets like the bottom half of the wall so if the attackers decide to run like an ace they can still throw his breach utility at the top of the wall and they can either make lines of sight for somebody to repel on and get picks or to shoot the stuff off the wall themselves or they can make an ace breach where like someone can pop a nade in there or something like that and then they can get the mute jammers or bandit batteries or whatever is on it and then they can just continue on with their deck so in my opinion, if you use mute to breach a wall or deny breach to a wall, it's pretty much a waste of one or two jammers if you do that, because the way you should be doing this is you should be denying the ability for your team to even see what's on the wall or where it is compared to the jammer actually denying the wall itself. Like if an ace throws the breach at the top of the wall, like we went over just a little bit ago and opens it the mute jammer didn't do anything because the breach still got open yeah they can't like just walk into it but there's still a line of sight and something you have to actually watch instead of having the wall just safely reinforced with an electrical or bandit battery on it so prioritize intel denial over denying a breach being opened and just bring a bandit in the cage with the mute itself and trust me that will make a very big difference so we touched on his loadout we touched on his role roaming versus anchoring Denying intel versus denying breach. Now it's time for me to show a little bit about how I play him at rank. I'm going to keep my promise. You know, it's the end of the video. I'm going to let the footage roll now and be back with y'all when this round is over. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you the king of silence himself. Mute. Let's roll it, baby. Yeah. They're using the hatchback there. Did somebody hit the legion trap in blue? They sure did. They're an OBJ. Agro, did you wind up killing the fuse? Am I pinned?
I think he's on heads. Kitchen ash? Yeah, I think so. Be careful. I'm back so that's all i have for the mute guys today if you learned something or like and enjoyed the video in general be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the astral sarcic channel we would really appreciate it and also check out what other content we have on the channel there's a lot of gods tricks a lot of stuff about siege in general so just be sure to check that out and if you want to see more from me you can head over to my youtube channel at dj son i'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you could all see it all of my socials are at dj son twitch twitter instagram Everything, if you want to find me, is going to be DJ Son. So thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching. Astralis, thank you for having me. And I will catch y'all next time. Good luck on your ranked games. And y'all go ahead and be great. Peace.